All right, last Metal Monday of August, which is crazy. We're almost, we're coming into fall yesterday. The weather was finally crisp. It felt so good to this walk around in a little bit of crisp weather. This morning I walked with my son to the bus stop, mm-hmm. and uh, he goes, Dad, it's kind of cold this morning. And I was mm-hmm. like, yeah, I go, fall is in the air, bud. I said, yep. it's coming. So yeah, I, I didn't think it was cold, but for him, it, mm-hmm. it felt a little chilly. He actually had his shorts and his little jacket on. So, But it, just wait till Wednesday. We're back to 103 Wednesday. I know. Yeah, so. You get a little bit of a break in the mm-hmm. action and then back to hot. Just like the weather in Idaho, the markets are up and down. Yes. Because <laughs> what? I haven't checked in an hour, which is probably a mistake, but let me look right now because it was down about eight cents. Yeah, it was off seven ish okay. a little bit ago, six and a half on the co- on Comex um, for copper. Everything else is fairly, yep. you know, seven eight cents. Yeah. Um, Everything is else is kind of fairly trading fairly in line. Um, you know, PGMs were kind of sideways ish. They were a little bit positive this morning early, and they're they're fairly sideways. Um, but yeah, it's. It's a wild. It's right now. I mean, it's it's pretty uh, wild out there. Just trying to figure out. If you think you know which way this thing's going, please call me. You mm-hmm. know, we're over here placing bets and doing what we mm-hmm. do every day. But the reality of it is, I think we're all just guessing. Yeah, everyone is. I I spent a lot of time reading articles in the past. I still scam them. I read some of them. Don't get me wrong. I like to kind of know where the trajectory might go, but you also could just flip a coin on some of those articles. Yeah. You know, just flip a coin and guess. You know, because who knows? Like, really, it's about where it was a week ago, to be honest with you, because we did have some gains Thursday, Friday. Mm-hmm. Friday it went up, and everything that went up got taken away. So it's not really down, you know, if you look at it from a yeah. last metal Monday. You know, it's sideways. But there's definitely yeah. a trading range going on right yeah. now, right? And I think that's the – it's not the worst-case scenario when it, there's it's when it's, like, in a range. It's – because there is some money to be made, you know, when the range is within 20, 15, 20 cents mm-hmm. on the copper or whatever, you can buy, you know, on the, on the lower side. And then if you get a little bit of extra juice in it, as long as the spreads don't widen out on you, I think that's what you have to watch out, which I don't, doesn't really feel like they are. Um, but in general, like, it's, it's kind of touch and go. I mean, you know, over here in, like, the Boise area, the housing's starting to come off. You know, you're starting to see... More houses for sale. Mm-hmm. The pricing's coming down. You can tell the economy just isn't, you know, rip roaring on fire like it was, say, six months ago. You know, yeah, it's something slow. You know, it's definitely slowing down, which inevitably needed to happen too. You know, it needed. It's to not. Take a break, it's not the worst you know? case scenario. If they can, if the Fed can land this big jumbo jet, you know, and mm-hmm. like they think they can, it'll be interesting. You hear a lot of people saying it can't be done, no soft landing, this and that. And who am I to say yay or nay? You know, I, I, I have no idea. But, you know, the Fed, interest rates, you know, the euro, you know, the dollar strengthening, you know, it touched the 20-year high. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. I think there's a lot of, you know, external forces out there, you know, that are that are wreaking some havoc in the metals markets right yeah and those all those forces affect us on the daily you know yeah so that's why it's important to kind of know what's going on out there and be mindful of it i mean when you're buying or selling you just got to kind of know what's going on out there it's not if your price is fluctuating it's because that thing's fluctuating 10 cents sometimes you know quickly um we're going to be in september on the next metal monday any any thoughts on Ferris? You know, I got a Bulls and Bears coming up with Chad, okay. my boy Chad. So this one should be interesting because I think it. I don't know. It could you know? There's there's both. I think there's fairly legitimate arguments to both sides. Mm-hmm. But you know, I, I feel like the market should you know should have found a bottom. We might get a little bit of positivity. You still feel that you, way. You I felt that feel, way. You felt that way all month. Yeah, so. I still feel that way. I still. I mean, I'm not saying we're gonna like, like I said last week. I'm not saying we're gonna get a big huge increase, but I just mm-hmm. I don't feel like there's a lot of downside risk to it right now. Um, you know, so I f- I feel fairly positive about the Ferris side. I'm not, but at least where today's pricing is, I don't feel like you're gonna have to you know come down significantly farther what's going to be interesting though more than pricing is going to be demand and i talked to a lot of people that that, you know if you have yards all over the place and different pockets different areas 
you know, you have steel mills that might might sit out this month. You've got mm-hmm. some that have decent demand. Depends on what they're melting. Depends on, you know, what their output material is, and and are they really construction rebar based? Are they, you know, like more on the OCTG side? You know, where the oil, you know, where oil is still pretty hot, mm-hmm. the drilling is still going. Um, I think there's just it's it's going to be interesting. I think it's very very geographically driven this month. One article I did see last week is the projected rebar usage in China was not, like, considerably, but lower than anticipated. Yeah. So you would think that would affect demand. You would think these mills making all this material might be, just be hesitant because of the looming uh, recession if we do see a big one. I think people are a little afraid to put uh, put it all out there. And I think when people get a little more comfortable used to this new, you know, this new economy we're in, then you think... See Nothing it open kills demand more, oh. and, I, and I mean on anything, right, mm-hmm. than, than people not knowing where things are going, yep. you know, or at least not having a feel for it. And I think nothing nothing kills demand to buy a house any more than, if you, than just the thought that the price could go down, right? Yeah. Interest rates are going up. That, that's a fact. But the thought that the pricing could be coming down more will put the brakes on buyers, people that need to buy right now, want to buy right now. I mean, nothing kills demand faster than just the thought the price could come down on anything, like whether it's a side by side, mm-hmm. you know, you know, UTV or a boat or a house or a. I mean, consumer demand will get crushed just for that reason. Yeah, and I think that's what we're seeing right now. For so. sure. For so sure. we'll see if the that fear goes away with some of these markets and we see an increase or if it continues to trickle down. On the positive note though, the reality is there's still opportunity and and the opportunity is for, for you to refine your business, tighten it up. Like you're, mm-hmm. the opportunity is going to be there for maybe somebody else that doesn't want to go through another down cycle for you to expand your business and you know add on another location or two, mm-hmm. right? The opportunities are going to be there. It's just a matter of what you decide to do with them. Will the opportunities be as plentiful as they might have been a year ago? Maybe not. Maybe you might have to work a little bit harder to find them. Mm-hmm. But they're still going to be there. And, you know, recycling of metals and commodities isn't going anywhere. Like, that's the fucking fact. So yeah. you might as well get used to the price swings. But the reality of it is, in our industry, in our business, it's not all negative, right? So... Keep it light, keep it keep your heads up and keep trucking. All right. Thank you, Brett. Everyone check out a little more details on his bulls versus bears. Yeah. We'll have that it's out coming. here soon. Okay. All right. Thanks. Have a great week. Bye.